I'm not sure I can come up with a bigger contrast. Here I am in Vegas. We're going to New York City to talk to a true West Virginia mountain man. So Trapper, do you like New York City? <laughs> you know what's great about New York? It's not the great buildings or everything. It's the diversity of the people that I see on the streets. Americans, all of us are Americans and I love every damn one of them. Well, Trapper, congratulations on season two of Mountain Monsters. And I've got to ask, how in the world does the film crew keep up with you guys? Well, it was a lot better this year uh, than it was the first season. The, uh, the cast and the crew was, uh, we had the same cameramen, same cam uh, sound people as we had last season. And both of us understood each other a lot better this season. And I believe we was able to bring that to you a lot better, seeing that we uh, worked together. We weren't shy around the cameras this season, and they knew where to get to to get out of our way and stay out of our way this season. Well, let's get to some of these beasts that you guys are after, these monsters. One of them is called the Fire Dragon. How did it get its name? The Fire Dragon got his name because he's actually a cold, a cold-blooded creature, the Pocahontas Fire Dragon is. And in the late fall of the year, when the temperatures start dropping in Appalachia, he will actually come out to the cabins and, and get against the chimneys, or he'll, lay on, uh, he'll run people off and lay on their campfires to get the heat. Uh, he's attracted to heat to keep his body t temperature up in the fall of the year before he goes into hibernation. Now, all of us have heard about a bridezilla, and that's kind of scary, but you actually hunt hogzilla. What was that? We went after the Hogzilla, in, uh, I believe in the Hocking Valley of Ohio, a little Hocking, and uh, he's this, uh, by the witnesses, he was this creature that could walk on his hind legs, which was shaped like a hog and was tearing up the fields and uh, terrorizing the community. It's a great episode, and uh, we, was, we had to build an extra strong trap for the Hogzilla, uh, get the right bait, and, and that's a big thing on these traps and get the right bait for these creatures. Well, we enjoy it and we especially love your friends on the show. How did you find them? <laughs> yeah, uh, Willie was raised up right down the holler from me. Uh, Jeff, our researcher, we've known him for years. Uh, Huckleberry's my security. Uh, Wild Bill was brought to us uh, from another friend. That's, and Wild Bill is a hoot. Now, if you know what a hoot is, that's Wild Bill. Uh, Buck's our rookie. Uh, uh, Buck's just a great kid, he's fun to be around, and he does all the heavy lifting and hard work for us. Well, Trapper, I wish people had your energy and appreciation of life, but what has served you really well in your success? I believe a smile, um, to love my state and love my country, and love the people of America. Um, hard work. You know, hard work served me well. I've always tried to do my best in any job I ever undertook. Uh, and I have a lot of great friends. Uh, I can walk up the street and uh, I can make friends with you in five minutes. I'll talk to anyone. Uh, I enjoy people and I enjoy this country. Well, I must say I enjoy you. I enjoy your show. I can't wait to tune in. Congratulations on season two. Okay, enjoy Mountain Monsters every Friday night at 10. We will indeed, Trevor.